CAR T cells already have the advantage over TCR T cells that they are not MHC restricted. And the binder we have developed um, is a binder which recognizes all the HPV genotypes. So it's very broadly applicable. But still, when you do a CAR T cell therapy, then you have to acquire the patient's cells, you have to transduce them, you have to reinfuse them. And we thought, okay, maybe there would even a, bit, a way to, to make the treatment easier applicable, in particular, if you want to go for larger numbers of patients um, which have an infectious disease like a chronic hepatitis B, which affects 280 million people worldwide. So, and, and discussing about that, we thought, Okay, maybe we can design T cell engager antibodies using the same binders, but also alternative binders, which bind the hepatitis B virus surface antigen on the surface of infected cells. And on the other hand, attract T cells and engage with CD3 or CD28 on the, on the uh, T cells and activate the T cells. And we developed such constructs and we found that they... Um, actually work very nicely in cell cultures, but also in a mouse model, which is admittedly an artificial one because that's transplanted human cells and PBMC brought into, into mice. So not an ideal model, but in cell culture and in this model, at least we found that our T cell engagers are very efficacious and they control the tumor growth, they, in most animals, um, even depleted the tumor. Plus, in cell culture, they are able to really eliminate hepatitis B virus from the cultures.